Today's the day. Today is the day I go get my new kayak. Right now, I'm about to drive out to Frontenac Outfitters uh, to go pick up what some of you might already know is going to be my new kayak, but I'll leave that to later. You're going to see if you don't already know. Um, it's about a 30-minute drive, which is not that far, considering most of us will drive for hours to go somewhere to fish. Uh, it's like 30 kilometers north of Kingston-ish. So you're going to get to see some of the beautiful scenery that you get to view as you're driving out to Frontenac Outfitters. I'm going to go meet with Zach, the owner. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit. I'm going to strap my new kayak down and take her home. I was really sad last night. I sold my Pelican uh, on Facebook Marketplace to somebody who is now the proud new owner of my Pelican Strike 120X Angler. Um, and is also a new member of our Kingston Canoe and Kayak Fishing Club on Facebook. So congratulations to you. You know who you are if you're watching this video. But yeah, let's get to it. You're going to see the nice drive. Stay tuned. here it's a little chilly though so I put on my sweater I will say that it's pretty busy so I might have to wait to talk to Zach that's okay everybody's buying kayaks now hey how's it going guys Zach from Frontneck Air Produce here Canoe and Kayak Center uh, just hanging out with Jeff today we're gonna get him sorted out and in a new Jackson Liska I think he's uh, he's pretty excited about that he was calling me yesterday saying he couldn't sleep and I don't know man it's he had to convince his wife that it was okay to come out here and, and pick it up and, and do all kinds of crazy crazy things for her he had to drive to Ottawa and pick up weightlifting equipment and, and everything she needed to so that he could make it happen early so anyway I'm pretty excited to, to get Jeff in, in his new boat I know he's really stoked so let's uh, let's see what it's all about let's go let's go see the boat if you guys want to say hello to YouTube <laughs> and there it is. I think I pretty much covered everything in the reviews yeah, your, that I your did. Your review was pretty good. Uh, I don't really know if there's anything else to add on to it. Um, you know, the Lisk is, is, has been a really strong performer for Jackson for a long time. A lot of the, the backwater guys really like this boat because it's lightweight. It's easy to get into, into some of those back lakes um, compared to some of the heavier, especially the pedal drive options. Uh, they can be, you know... Uh, quite heavy in the sense of if you want to get and explore some some more remote backwater uh, So these guys here do a really good job with a nice, you know As far as a fishing kayak goes a lightweight option to, to get into uh, some more remote locations So I think you'll enjoy it especially you know if you want to get it with your daughter with the uh, the increased floor space on here comparatively to some of the pedal drive units um, And it, it paddles really nicely for a sit on top as well um, You know some of the fishing kayaks can be a little wide and 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 plowish in the water when when you're trying to paddle but i think jackson did a really good job in the design of, of the liska and it paddles really quite well so i really hope uh, i really hope that you enjoy it so i'm i'm gonna enjoy it a lot <laughs> one thing i did miss when i did my review is this apparently was very intentionally to cut or molded to this size Absolutely. and it, it, you can cut it out and put a hatch there so you actually have access to the rear of the boat which gives you even more storage yeah you than... can i don't know if jackson uh, to be honest with you if, if they have their own kit um the, their competitor um harmony which is uh wilderness systems um actually has a kit and uh forgive me jackson if uh if, if you guys have one as well but uh <laughs> <laughs> I know we do have some <laughs> Harmony ones here in the shop, but basically, yeah, it's just that. You can uh, cut this guy out here. It comes with a bag and a hatch, and you just slide that sucker in, screw it down, uh, maybe use a little bit of sealant, and then it's got a little, uh, you know, quarter turn um, hatch cover lid that fits perfectly in those in those types of, of spots. So Perfect. Um, yeah, lots of, I mean, the, the, the amount of modifying you can do to, to fishing kayaks is absolutely insane. 
Um, and, uh, you know, I, I'm not a huge angler, but I have got back into it in the last couple of years. And I'm loving it. And, and I'm having a hard time just kind of figuring out, you know, where I want to put my kit and how I want to get it all set up. Um, and, and, you know, potentially catch some fish, which I'm not very good at, but maybe that'll get better. I figure the more toys I buy and the more rods and lures I own that, you know, I'm probably going to have a better chance of catching some fish. Right. So, yeah, I'm hoping that this thing brings me some better luck. One thing I didn't know. Uh, that I've apparently been doing wrong and I didn't know this until I came out to do the reviews last weekend when I every time I load my kayak I always loaded it back first oh, apparently man. that's really bad luck that so bad luck. now with my Liska it's going to be loaded the way it's going to be going that's right man and, it's all uh, about the good karma you want that nose pointing forward get that sucker strapped down nice and tight um, but yeah always always bow forward uh, you used to do a lot of, I do a lot of whitewater kayaking and you could get, you know, a lot of boats onto the roof, but oftentimes you would kind of, uh, you know, 69 them. So you'd have one facing backwards and when there'd always be a fight as to whose boat had to face backwards and whose is facing forward. So yeah, you Little always, tidbits you always of want knowledge. that good karma of getting that boat facing forward. Um, and it'll bring you good luck on the water. So. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. So this will always be loaded bow first from now on, and hopefully that's going to improve your fishing at all. <laughs> but it'll uh, it'll certainly you know improve your odds of actually ending up in the water. So that's good. That's what we want, right? All right. So that's the boat. Let's go talk about the paddle. Yeah, right on. I saw one in there that uh, matches the boat. That really nice green one. Is yeah, that the same? Is that the same? Uh, the same model as the one I tested last week? Yeah, it is. Uh, it's the, um, the bending branch is um, uh, pro angler uh, fiberglass yeah um they, they're a pretty slick paddle you know they, they come with a hefty price tag but uh you know if you haven't used the lightweight stiff paddle before they, they make a huge huge difference so these are the the models too there's a couple different ones they come with these really kind of really funky blade patterns on them but the benefit is is you're getting a really stiff paddle blade a carbon shaft so it's really really light um, which makes a huge difference, you know, when you're actually paddling, um, you know, to have a stiff shaft uh, with a lightweight blade. I mean, you noticed almost instantly, right? Like when you went oh, yeah. and test paddled and, and I'm the same way, like all my paddles have gone from, you know, entry level when I first started, you know, basically getting what I could afford. And that was fine. It got me on the water. But the second you try your friends, you know, $400 carbon paddle and all of a sudden it's like, okay, I get it. You know, I'm sold. And then all my whitewater paddles, you know, they're, you know, and, and these are more prone to breakage, but I had no problem spending four or 500 bucks on a whitewater paddle that I knew might break. I haven't broken any yet, knock on wood. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, you know, they take a real beating. My sea kayak paddles, again, I've got a couple different styles and, you know, they're in that four or $500 price range. Um, I'm using one of these with, with the fishing kayak. And the nice thing about these guys here is that that pro angler um, ferrule system on these is it just twists apart. You can extend it up to 15 centimeters and then you lock it back into place. So now I've just gone from 230 centimeters to 245 centimeters. So if I'm up in that higher position on the, on the high low seating on the Jackson or the Wildy boats, I can now extend that so I can still get some good reach. They also do one, um, a 240 to 255 centimeters. So if you're on some of those wider boats, like the big rig, you can still kind of extend that guy out to, to reach on both sides. If you need longer than that, you're going to be looking at a solid piece, but they do make paddles, I believe, up to 280 centimeters. So, you know, something like the Blue Sky Boat Works, those big catamaran guys, if you need to, to get a paddle, you're going to want one of those guys that are really, really long. Um, and it also splits apart for storage and travel. So, I touched on that a little bit you, in the, the video that I did. I can't remember if I was on the list guy. I think I was. Uh, where I had to adjust the paddle. It might have been the U pick that I was on. Yeah, it takes a little bit of, so but, like, it's kind of funky how it how it, it it separates basically it's just a twist of the wrist and unlocks that ferrule and just a little bit of practice to kind of dial in where you want generally it's about a 30 degree twist though so if i want to get here on my 30 degree uh, right hand control feather angle i just snap that back to just past 60 and lock it in and there i'm at my 30 degree so it takes a little bit of playing around with but once you kind of got once you kind of got it you know dialed in on how this system works it's, it's very intuitive and super easy to do on the fly at any time so i'll tell you what after i did those reviews the, uh, the other week i haven't been out on my pelican uh since uh, just just the thought of taking it out and there's nothing wrong with my pelican it was a great boat uh it will always have a special place in my heart as it was the first one i ever had that got me into kayak fishing but after being out on the Jackson kayaks and then paddling with one of these bending branches uh, paddles, th like there's no way 
I, I couldn't even think like fathom the thought of taking my Pelican out and using that paddle that came with it, which was like, it w might as well have been an anchor compared to these bending branches ones. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so. you certainly get what you paid for. Right. So like I, I got nothing against Pelican. I think they're a great brand for introducing people into paddling. Um, we don't sell them here at the shop, but uh, you know, I certainly appreciate the number of people that, you know, like Jeff himself who comes up here and is looking to, you know, kind of step up from the Pelican. And there's a lot of people who just think the Pelican's great and they're happy with it. And I think those people have just, you know, they're, they're mistaken in because they haven't tried anything better. Uh, so that like to them, that's, you know, they're happy with their Pelican and that's fine. But if you want to improve your paddling experience, you know, come and see a shop like us where you can try boats out. And that's the key is to actually be able to get them on the water and try them out. Cause it makes a huge, huge difference as to what your experience is going to be like. It's one thing to sit on the lawn and, and sit in them and be like, hey, this boat's comfortable, but how does it paddle? How's the stability? You know, if you're a big dude, um, it, you know, that, you know, the little bite might not be the right boat, but it's sitting on the lawn, it's going to feel good. So the key is to get them on the water, try them, try some different paddles out, just, you know, experience what it's like to really, you know, try different boats. Um, and if your Pelican does it, still does it for you, then, then that's awesome. You know, whatever gets you on the water is, is what we want to see. We want to see, you know, community of, of, of kayak anglers, as well as, you know, just people kayaking or canoeing, um, experiencing nature, getting out there with the family and just having a good time. And that's, that's what, that's what drives us. And that's what we want to see is just people getting out and, and enjoying nature. So, so I mentioned in the videos that they, I don't know if I mentioned it, but they, they brought all the boats down to the water for me to try out. They didn't just do that for me, for YouTube. They, they do that for everyone that, that comes out here to test boats. So if you're interested in looking at kayaks, I mean, you have people come from all over Ontario. Oh yeah. All, all over. I mean, East, Eastern, Eastern Canada, you know, we've had people from, you know, the uh, East coast come out, uh, under normal circumstances when there's no COVID. Um, you know, we get lots of people from New York, um, Pennsylvania, uh, coming down that my, my craziest trip now, granted, like, you know, there's a bit of a story behind it, but a guy from Alaska, his family from Alaska came down, bought a couple of kayaks, did a lesson with us. Um, now they have a house in a summer home in Maine. So, I mean, they were kind of traveling through, but still, I mean, it's a long, it's a long drive. Um, and, and they came and uh, spent some time with us and had a great time and ended up buying a couple of boats and taking a lesson and, uh, and just had a great time. Right. So, uh, the rise of, of kayak fishing is, is really great to see. Um, you know, it's getting people off of motor boats and it's getting, you know, more people off the shore cause it's an affordable way to, to actually get out into some deeper water, um, without having to, you know, buy a motorboat or, you know, and they're a little more efficient and, and definitely more thought out than just taking a canoe out. You can literally use anything to get out there and fish with. Um, but some of these fishing kayaks, the way that they're, they're designed and, and the, the accessories and the way they're thought out, I mean, it's incredible, you know, and how you can use these things to, to recreate and also fish out of. And it, it's really, really good to see. So yeah, I've been, I've been really jazzed with, with the, uh, with the kayak fishing market. And we just want to continue to see it grow and, and see more people, especially in this area, like the Kingston, uh, Frontenac, um, Lanark area. I mean, it's just, we're, there's just endless amount of lakes with, you know, different species of fish. Um, you know, bass, pike, uh, a lot of lake trout in, in a lot of the lakes around here as well. And then, you know, never mind the whole uh, Rideau system if you're into Muskie or the St. Lawrence. And again, lots of big fish down in there if, if you want to go after salmon or big lake trout. I mean, there's, you know, you just, you just point where you want to go on the map and, and there's going to be something, something there for sure. So, yeah. So this is a great place, Kingston in general. Um, you guys also do rentals, right? And, yeah, we do. Uh, like we actually do rent, a, rent a, a couple of fishing kayaks. Um, we haven't really advertised it too much. Um, you know, I mean, the whole kayak fishing market is, for us as a shop, is fairly new as well. Um, you know, we've been doing it for a couple of years and, and trying to, you know, help grow the brand. Um, you know, working with guys like Jeff and, and, the, uh, and, and his club that he, he's helping run in the Kingston area to promote kayak fishing and running some tournaments and stuff. Um, and, and like I said, we just want to see more people kind of getting out there and, and growing the sport and, you know, kind of working from there. So, so if you're interested, definitely come on out and yeah, check yeah, out a sure. kayak. You might yeah. know, maybe you wanna, you're going to find something you, you love. You, you know, if you want to do more than just a test paddle, we'll rent you one for the day. Uh, it may not be the exact model or brand you want to do, but, uh, we also rent just, you know, standard sea kayaks and, um, and canoes for, you know, for, for backcountry travel into Frontenac park as well. So there's lots of options to, to get you out there. Awesome. Yeah. Well, uh, let's get to the money part, I guess. I got to go pay for my kayak Ooh. and my paddle. There I think go. this green one back here, this is the same one, right? Is that the one you had in your hand? Yeah. yeah. 
Not the one I tested last week, but oops. Well, it's, it's a, Let's do. That's a pretty one. Right Let's there. try not to bash this against all oh, the other stuff that's in here. So this is a. We'll see how well it's going to match. I think it's going to match. A nice lime green. I really like the pattern. Yeah, it's pretty close. I really like the pattern of the the one I tested uh, a couple uh, the other week. But uh, this green is going to be nice. That for one glows life. really nicely at night too. It's a very vibrant color. Like oh, it's, good. it's almost, uh, it almost looks like glow in the dark. Uh, I was using one that color the other night when I was piling lilac around in the U pick, and uh, and the sun was going down. I was like, holy moly! Like this paddle was like glowing. So maybe for some nighttime walleye fishing. There you go. In the future. There we go. I'm not going to show you paying because I don't want the internet to know my credit card number. So uh, we'll see you in a few minutes. So while Zach's doing the magic with the money over there, I want to talk about an important topic. Recently, there's been, well, not recently, ever since the open water season here in Southern Ontario, just from like the Kingston and the Ottawa area, uh, like, and the, and the Kawarthas and the Bay of Quinte, there've been at least five people who've died because for whatever reason, they fell out of their kayak or canoe and drowned because they weren't wearing their life jacket. There's a big wall here of life jackets and a rack of life jackets. If you're out there paddling or pedaling or doing whatever you're doing without a life jacket, you need to stop doing that and go get yourself a life jacket. If you're not coming here to come get one, go somewhere and get a life jacket, a PFD, something that's going to help you if you end up taking a swim. Um, I don't want to, I don't want to read any more of those reports of somebody who has died because they fell out and couldn't keep themselves afloat and they weren't wearing the life jacket. So that's just a little public safety announcement, I guess. Don't paddle or pedal without your life jacket. Now that the money's all taken care of, I'm gonna go load this thing in the back of my truck and get home to daddy duty. Make sure I got my little accessory bag. Yep, it's in there. Sweet. bow forward so there you have it my brand new jackson liska in the back of my truck i'm so happy i can't wait to get it out on the water man it's gonna be great i uh i hope that my new way of loading it uh with the bow forward is gonna bring me some better luck than i've had uh, so far this open water season because it's been it's been a grind for me so new boat new way of loading Let's catch some fish. Not in this video though, a different video. But thanks for watching. If you're looking for a kayak, come out to Frontenac Outfitters. As you can see, Zach and not just Zach, but everybody that works here, they all know like so much about kayaking, whether it's kayak fishing, canoeing, just like any kind of paddle sports that you're into, they can help you out. So, I mean, there's a couple here right now who said that they're from Ottawa. Um, to, you know, people drive from all over to come here uh, to, to buy kayaks. And uh, there's a reason for that. And that is because the people who work here love kayaking. They're not just employees, you know, they, they all do it. So they know what they're talking about. They can help you out. Come out to Frontenac Outfitters and buy your kayak.